Hi, this is Steve from Open Flight Solutions, and in this very brief video, I'm going to show you how to connect an iOS device, that is an iPhone or an iPad, to your flight box. Start by tapping the settings icon to open up the settings window. From the settings screen, you're going to want to select the Wi-Fi option. That's the second option in the menu on the left. At this point, you see that this particular iPad is connected up to a Wi-Fi network called Camelot. Now we need to find the Wi-Fi network for the flight box. So if you'll look down below the uh, in the choose a network area, you'll see a network called flight box dash and then the unique ID for a particular flight box. Let's go ahead and tap that. You'll see it pops up to the top there and within a few seconds it shows as connected. It's got the check mark next to it, but it also shows no internet connection. That is totally normal. These systems don't connect to the internet. They simply create a local link between your iOS device and the flight box. So now you can go back out by tapping the home button and you'll see at the moment we still are showing the uh, the little icon up in the upper left hand corner for the uh, the Wi-Fi connection, the little um, signal strength meter. Um, once it recognizes that it's connected up to something that isn't an internet connection that will actually disappear. So if we were to say launch uh, Aerovi or ForeFlight or one of these other applications within a few seconds you might look up and notice hey there's no Wi-Fi uh, icon that is correct, the system will still be connected to your flight box. When you're ready to reconnect to your, uh, your home Wi-Fi network, for example, simply repeat the process and select the network that's your normal home router. And that's all there really is to it. Thank you very much.